So as I promised, I'd bring you a review of this product because I felt that in order to review it, um, it did need some time with the with the Smart Luna R2, which contains the two half watt LEDs inside the unit. Um, if you if you if you did watch the unboxing, I'll put a link in the description. If you haven't, um, and basically <laughs> we did make a bit of a mess with uh, trying to open the product. We did manage to get it open. So. Basically, how's my experience been with it? Well, great. Um, it seems to be a very bright light. If you look, when you have this mounted on your bike, um, and you look back on your own bike, obviously be careful when you're on the road looking back uh, because of cars in front, and you should always have your intention on the road. But when you do get a chance to look back, you can often see this light reflecting pretty strongly on um, on the car's number plates, and really what you really get with other, you know, more more front more really associated with front lights that you get that sort of you know sign street signs lighting up and stuff uh, because of the reflective material so you know basically the mounts on my bike at the moment it's just a standard mount and you know it just you just clip it in like this but also this is fine you can mount it on the your on your um jeans or trousers if you wanted to because essentially it is a you know a belt clip and it does say it's suitable for that purpose um, just make sure the positioning is right this is the sort of uh, chainstay uh, one so not the chainstay the one next to it I'm not too sure I can't remember what it's called but basically it's just the same thing you take the screw from the standard uh, seat post one and you can put this on the back or on your one of your racks if you have one if you carry a saddlebag and what have you not so um, it seems it's a pretty strong product. I haven't really had it in the rain too much because um, I, I tend to take my bike lights off because I don't trust people around here. So I think they're going to steal it. So I take my bike light off all the time because it's just simple, easy click off. Now one thing I did have is that I hadn't mounted this correct. I hadn't mounted this correctly on my bike, and what happened was, and you know this was a great sign of uh, durability and you know its toughness. But um, I would have rather conducted it in another fashion. But it wasn't mounted on my seat post correctly, it was upside down. I went over a speed bump and I was going quite fast on my mountain bike um, on the road. And the and they've still got the mountain bike wheels, they're not slick tyres, they're just big fat uh, chunky wheels made for hills and whatever. You know, hence that's why it's a mountain bike, because uh, I'm waiting to get my road bike. The thing fell off and got flicked at least a few, you know, a few meet, a good few meters, uh, very fast speed into the middle of the road. Luckily, there wasn't many cars. I managed to scramble, go get the batteries, um, the unit itself, and attach it. Um, I was very lucky, and to my amazement, the thing's still working. <laughs> so, if, if you're looking for something that's durable, you know, lightweight, a decent mounting system, but with many options. Uh, side on visibility as well, which is great um, Then you, you know, you're gonna be looking for a product like this. It's quite cheap. It's 11 pounds It's definitely worth your money The batteries are still the same that I have in there the th two triple uh, A's I think the smaller batteries and I'll probably get rechargeable one soon But bear in mind that rechargeable batteries have a lower voltage 0.3 So I don't know if that will have too much of an impact on the brightness so basically just go through the modes again because I don't think I've, I did that very clearly um, so really the buttons here and it's just a rubber button so a little bit of tactile feedback not too much but uh, you won't need it because you'll be able to see whether your lights are on or not so the first mode is this uh, you know flashing mode it's stated that it will last up to 50 hours on this mode your, your second mode is a solid bottom um, LED and you can't switch it around it it will be the bottom one or top one in your depending on how you mount it but that's the bottom one the second one involves two solid lights and that will last approximately 25 hours on the batteries that were supplied um it's pretty strong right there on the camera as you can see and the next one is the sort of disco strobe mode which is not included in the um USB version, which I think is 
a shame because I tell you what, this light is definitely going to get you noticed, which is what it's all about on the road. And it, oops, Daisy, looks pretty, um, pretty cool at the same time. So we've got a bit of a, you know, flash here. I don't know what the battery life on this mode is, but it seems to be working fine so far. So we've got a bit of a, a fl flick of lights here, and then quickly going back and forth. The second mode is a steady pulse of light probably good for more rainy conditions i suppose but really that's pretty much it um solid product i really do recommend and also please stay stay tuned because i'm going to be putting in um some night shots now as well so enjoy the rest of the video take care